Top of the morning to you, Villa Tamer. It's great to it's a great time to be outdoors enjoying the sea breeze, the smell of moist grass, the musical chirping of the Temtem. Care for a little Temtem battle, it's just what this day needs to be an absolutely perfect day. Let's do it, relaxed guy. Relaxed man. Ooh, it's a why. <sighs> Professor Constantino said it was rare. I guess not. Oof, that is a hit and a half. Synergies. When a technique has synergy, it means that a partner's it means that if the user's partner's is a specific type, the technique will have the same added effect. This effect can be simply more output damage, better modifiers, or even new effects. Cool. And in case you're wondering, yes, um, once we kill this tamer's temtem, we will also eat this tamer's temtem. I'm kidding. Could you imagine? <laughs> it's like your temtem lost and is now dead. Now we will feed on its soul. Oh, I didn't even read that. My bad, guys. All right. Uh, sometimes these buttons just happen so fast. I just want to click everything. Oh, that's that was invigorating, he says. And then he pays us for beating him, as you should. I'm kidding. Let's go ahead and read that. Aerosol? No, I'm kidding. We have your... Yurushol? Yurushiol. Yurushiol. It's a synergy with a toxic ally and poison the enemy for four turns. Oh, okay, this is the, that's the poison nut technique. Cool. Oh, nice. We found this treasure here. What does this do? Two ethers. Uh, the basic stamina booster popular archipelago wide restores 20 stamina. Cool. Learning the type chart is an important step to every uh, competent tamer needs to do. Uh, knowing which technique to use in order to maximize the damage is the key to winning Temtem battles. Yes, it is, I would imagine. Uh, when targeting a double type uh, Temtem, you need to check both type coverages. With the perfect matchup, you can end up quadrupling your damage output. That's so meta. I mean, honestly, big attack goes boom is enough for me. So it's weak against poison. See how it's green like that? That's so useful. QOL, guys. Quality of life. Quality of life. Love to see it. Ooh, Psypat. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can catch this Psypat. The one we saw was level 3, I think. So maybe this would be a... Oh, it's also level 3. Okay, let's kick it to Oblivion and lower down... Hmm. Let's hit it with poison, perhaps? Let's see what that does. Oh, boy. I hate... This. I think it might go down. It don't. It don't go down. And it's dead. Oh, my goodness. It don't go down. Oh! Oh, that was its weakness, actually. Duly noted. Duly noted. Oh, okay, another Psypat. Clairvo! Swole! <laughs> uh, well, it's a level 3 Psypat again. So we're gonna play this out differently this time. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with that, and then Shy Shield. We'll just use uh, Clairvo's kicks. Good. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, did Kite did Psypat kill itself? Oh my god. Can we not? Can we not? Okay, so I know this game's been out for three months already, but that's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Doesn't this Psypat have any idea of self-preservation? You know, like, why would it do that? Because you know what happens when it's knocked out? We're eating its corpse. No, I'm kidding. But why would it do that? Like, that is foolish. Like, there's a wait button to rebuild stamina. That Psypat should have just waited, you know? Like, or tried to run, you know? Like, I don't, I don't understand why you would fight to the death. Unless that's just, like, the culture of Temtems. Temtems are, like, super, like, hardcore in that sense. That's lame. Come on, guys. You don't like that. Okay, this Psypat... What do we have here? I can't believe it. That Psypat was like, I would rather I die and you feast on my flesh than um, be uh, captured. Which, I mean, hey, kind of a normal feeling, kind of understandable. So what we're gonna do, oh boy, oh my God. This Psypat is not playing. Okay, we're not gonna kick it anymore. We're just going to, uh, throw our card at it, and then for this, we're gonna switch you out to Kaku, because Kaku can take. Oh, that was a Marshall was a physical attack, wasn't it? We're gonna send in Tawai, just a tank. Tawai is just gonna tank this out, but we're gonna be mindful of the stamina that it uses, because these, these Temtems, I'm telling you, they, they're, they would rather die than be captured, which completely understandable. 
we got it. Yay, we got a Psypat. Wow. Oh, its defense is huge. Its HP is very bad, very low. Hate it, hate to see it. Amphibian, after being attacked with a water technique, it gets a speed and attack increase. Oh, what do I want to call this? And we have to do it now, otherwise we're gonna have to wait until the Bureau of Investigation finds its name, so we're gonna- I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna rename it something. There we go. We're calling this Psypat Daisy, okay? For no other reason. I didn't just Google famous ducks. <laughs> okay, we got Daisy. Welcome to the squad, Daisy. I feel like a water type would serve us well here, so I'm actually going to... Oh, Daisy's at three right now. Okay, let's- let's move up Kaku. Oh no, we're not ready for battle, are we? Uh, pedantic tamer. Oh, that's kind of like me. We're kind of two peas in a pod. Uh, you look like a temtem -tem tamer, but how well do you actually know your temtem? -tem? Did you know that each type of temtem -tem is effective or weak against a specific type? Dude, I don't. Leave me alone. Never. My calling in life is to instruct young tamers on the eye-opening nature of temtem -tem subspecies. This is harassment. And I don't know where the police are right now, or the ranger who patrols this area, but you know what? This is harassment, and I'm not having it. For instance, water temtem, what are they effective against? I don't know, your mom? No, I'm kidding, imagine. That's very childlike, very childlike. I don't know, fire? <laughs> You're right. It's fact. What about fire temtem? You know what be weak against? I don't care, dude. I don't care. Water? No, have you have you even been listening? Fire is strong against nature, but it's obviously weak against water, duh. Dude, I really don't have time for this. I don't know who you are, but I have a limited time to record a let's play, and I can't have you spouting your nonsense, okay? All I know is big attack, go boom. Anyway, enough theory. Get ready to rumble. Ooh, the shark temtem, nice. We don't have our S Gianki, I think it's called. The electric type, we don't have one, so bummer. But we have Kaku. Kaku is a nature type, I believe. So we should be in relatively good straits. It's a level 11. Yikes, that is a... Uh, that is a high level. Cool. Ooh. Kaku, shield up. <laughs> Defense up, Kaku. Exhausted. Stamina cost uh, increased by 50%. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, well, we're gonna use Psy Wave here. And then we're gonna use Toxic Spores. Oh! Oh, Kaku withstood it! Oh, and it killed itself! You're really dumb. You pedantic little... Effer. Can you believe that? The pedantic tamer, with all his uh, knowledge about types and yada yada yada, totally forgot the most basic, most amateur rule of temtem battles. Your stamina. Um, nimble. Through rigorous training, temtems can uh, become extra fast and gain speed. Love it, love it. Wow, look at Kaku. Not bad at all. You're getting the hang of it. I didn't do squat. You beat yourself. Earned 50, thank you. I stole 50. I mugged 50. Now, thanks a lot. I gotta go heal my freaking Temtem again. I just love Hoi Chick so much. It's just like another, like... It looks just... She looks like she would be in the family of, like, Abras, you know? In a sense. Obviously not exactly, because Abra is a fox and everything, but still. Oh, wow, look at these Psypats, level 4. Ugh. No, we're not gonna be... We're not going to be meta about this and swapping out our our Psypat for a higher level one, even if we're already leveling up our other Psypat at this point. Um, let me see if I can actually show you. We leveled up Daisy. She's like level five. Um, it wasn't a big level up, but we, we were leveling up her up. So we're not going to switch her out. Obviously, if you want to meta it and get a higher level Psypat and just collect Psypats, I actually might do that for a certain uh, Temtem. I forget their names, but... You know, for Temtems I really, really like, I might, I might, uh, you know, start farming the Temtem, but now is not the time. It's like early on still, so let's just go ahead and kick some butt. 
All right, let's move on and face this trainers here. Uh, Agape, look mom, another tamer. Let's have a battle. Yota, hello stranger, I am Yota, and this is my daughter Agape. And now, would you care for a Temtem battle, please? My little one really loves Temtem fighting. Your little one's got a problem, okay? And the fact that you're her mother, and you're encouraging that kind of behavior, is very troubling. I'm kidding, guys. Not holier than thou. I love to watch Temtems beat on each other for blood sport. Also kind of a joke. Let's just beat up this duo. Blood sport, blood sport. <laughs> Let's kill this Saku. Let's go ahead and use a uh, martial attack. Let's see what that does. Let's see how that takes. Wow. Wow, triple poison. I wonder if that means three turns. Yeah, I think that's what that means. Okay, so now I think we can just kick this Saku and I think we can, we can't, see Water Blade would be bad here for two reasons. It would eat away at our health, but also it's a nature type, I believe. So it's best to just kick it and Shy Shield. All right, it's gonna hold off. It's gonna hang tight. Marshall Strike. Nice. Ooh, we got Rage. The Red Mist makes a Temtem brutal, but also careless, getting attack and defense down. Attack up, but defense down. Cool. Love it. I know. Daisy should be... Oh, she only got up to seven. Bummer. We're gonna go ahead and use Psy Wave, and then that should be the it. That should be end. The end for Saku. Let's go ahead and use Marshall Strike. Okay, that's it. Get out of here. Enough with that. Nice. That was fun. Good for you, Agape. Now give me money. Ooh, a Pajaro, a Pajero. So let's go ahead and see if we can try to take this one. Level four. We're gonna kick this Pajero. And then we're going to switch this out with Tawai. And then we're just going to tank it because I'm afraid this Pajero, I know, by the way, I know it's Pajero, but uh, I'm afraid this Pajero might knock itself out. So we're gonna do our best and uh, not hurt it. Okay, we're gonna use our Temtem card and then we're just going to wait. Nice, we got it! We have our Pajero, and we will be renaming it Pajero. Wow, you can catch and release? Um, I know you can release- so one of the cool things about this game is that you can actually release, um, Temtem for, uh, I forget what it is, but you get something in return. I think it's currency or something? But I kind of really like that about Temtem, like catch and release. Uh, you catch them for study, and then, like, you release them. Like, I think that's such a cool idea. We're calling it Pajero. Temtem contains invalid words. What, copyright? <laughs> Pajero. Can we not call it a Pajero? <laughs> oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> why did Mitsubishi name their car that? <laughs> Colloquially, uh, a vulgar, derogatory word. That's hilarious. Oh, Pajero. Okay, we got Hover as a trait. Let's go ahead and look this up. Damage taken from Earth Techniques is reduced by 50%. Cool, that's good. Its defense and special defense is really high. Everything else is below below average, so a little, a little bit of a bummer there. But uh, join the squad. So we have our Temtem squad right now. Um, our roster, that is, filled up. This is not our final roster. I just have, it, I just have them with us in case, you know, uh, we need more Temtems to do battle with or whatever, but honestly, it's whatever. Ooh, a Totero! I actually really like this Temtem. I don't know why, but I was very fond of this Temtem. We gotta be careful here. We're gonna do foot to mouth and then, uh, wait. Because sometimes, uh, Clairvo doesn't know her own strength. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the Temtem card at it. Ooh. 
nice, we got it. Cool, on our first try. It has resilient. Wow, its defense and special attack are really high. Everything else, aside from strength, is a little below average. Resilient, once per battle when knocked out due to overexertion, prevents getting knocked out. Uh, removes the overexertion turn penal uh, penalization and gets speed increase. Dojo Pupil. Do I know you? Have we met in Aerosola Dojo? Our Dojo Master told us to go out and try our Temtem against different people. So what do you say to, to a fight? Cool, cool, cool. I think we're nearing the town now. Here we go, we got the Pajero. No, I'm kidding. Ooh, we got uh, the Evolved Typed and the Basic Type. But we're gonna whoop some ass. We're gonna make these Tam Tams regret ever coming out of their cards by first killing that one. And I think Rage lowers defense, increases attack. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We'll go into a Rage. Yikes. Nice. Ooh, wind burst. Oh, hurt itself to overexertion. That was a dumb move. You idiot. Okay, now we're going to. Um, it almost feels like a waste, but we're gonna go ahead and kick this Pajero. <laughs> Pajero. Pajaro. And then we will marshal strike the Paharak. Clarvo's taking the, taking some hits, huh? Wow. Nice. Okay, and then we can finish this off with an energy manipulation, I think, and that goes first, so I think we should be okay. There we go. Wow, Clarvo took a, took a kind of a beating out there. We have Stare. This intimidating Stare gives attempt to alert for two turns, makes it makes and makes rivals feel more vulnerable. Mm. Oh, cool. That was some fight. Thanks. Uh, thank you, pal, for your monies. Appreciate you. We need a Spayanki. Or a Ganki? We need the electric type. Let's see, what is this? What are you doing just chilling? Listen, Zainab, I don't want to... Ooh, Kubra. Uh, Air, sorry, I thought you were a friend of mine. What's the matter? Uh, it's none of my business, but I'm very willing to uh, know what's going on with you. Yes, well, more than a friend. Not that it's at any of your business anyway. How dare you? Uh, maybe I can help. A complete stranger you don't know. A battle to get your mind off of it? Nah, I don't feel like it. Okay, well, maybe I can help. Uh, what do you know about Temtem anyway? You can't really help unless you're a proper tamer. Okay, bye then. Pal? No, I am a proper tamer. I have my license. Okay then, so Zinep and I... Well, so everything was working out until she, uh, this is gonna sound kind of ridiculous, but anyway, she really loves wind temtem. Me, I'm more of a water temtem sort of a girl. Okay, uh, so, you just don't understand it's personal. Water and wind, they don't go well together. Perhaps we're just not made for each other. Wow, Kubra, I'm not gonna lie, but that's probably one of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Yup, 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 yup. Yup! Temtem, it's what's gonna prevent you from uh, you two from living a wonderful life together. You know what? The fact that you're even thinking about that, Kubra, you're absolutely right. Don't date each other because that is low hanging fruit. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be dating one another if that's how small you're, you're both gonna think. So yeah, uh, leave it be. Leave it be, in my opinion. Anyway, so this has escalated <laughs> and now we're not on speaking terms. I know, I know, I should do something about it, but you know, I'm, a, I'm the stubborn one and so is she. Maybe you can. Kill Zaneb? Oh my god. That's murder. I can't kill Zaneb. Now we'll talk to Zaneb. Let's say been there. Sometimes you just need a hand. Okay then. See if she'll listen to you. Thank you. Really, I mean that. See if you can help Zaneb uh, patch things up. Uh, okay, well let me heal my Temtem because she might want to battle. So let's go ahead and do that first. Which would be a, a strange way <laughs> of going about it. Could you imagine? I We can't be dating. I can't be seen around her because the Temtems that I like are opposite than the Temtems that she likes. And because of that, we can't be with one another. Then again, it is a video game guy. No need to get all uh, wound up like a spring. All right, Temtem healed in case we need to beat her into realizing that they belong together. 
I know, isn't that an abusive relationship? She's tasking me to character assassinate her girlfriend just so she'll be so down on her luck that she will then go back to their relationship. It's a very hostile and toxic relationship, actually. Don't approve of it, but if there's if there's a pansan involved. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and indulge in this terrible situation. So I've spoken with Kubra. <laughs> She's like, who the hell are you? And she sends you to apologize for her, the nerve. Tell her to come say she's sorry in person if she really means it. She sends a present and then we punch her. Oh, I hope it's a cool paharo. What? Oh, all right, we'll, we'll give her our paharo, why not? You're giving your temtem as part of the quest and we'll permanently lose them, are you sure? Yes, Paharo, uh, it was nice having you. You're a good Temtem. Um, good luck in your journey. Uh, they're a very abusive couple and uh, are very finicky. So this is actually really uh, a bad environment to go to, but we need to complete the quest. So you're doing all of us a favor, all of us a solid, and I'll never forget you. You handed over your Paharo. A Paharo, really? Oh my, I never thought she'd really give me a win, Temtem. Oh, okay, you see, she never requested that from me. All right, you just sort of assume that, but I'm very willing to give my Paharo away. And my favorite one too, oh, that's so lovely of her. Gosh, I was such a fool to get angry with her like that. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, I don't know. You you two, you do you. You two, you do you. I was saving up to buy, a, uh, buy one from some tamer, but since you were so nice, you can have the pants. Okay, they're called pantsons. Money doesn't buy happiness, love does. Okay, well, in your case, Temtem by happiness, love doesn't, so... And uh, now, if you can give us some privacy, I, I'd like to have a conversation with my girlfriend. Hmm, bit of the birds and the beans. Ooh, whoa, she vanished. We earned 230. Great for us, but they just vanished. What the heck? Nice, our first quest. Oh, there they are. Thank you so much for taking care of this. Uh, one can get mad about such stupid things. Think of the Solario, you helped us work through it. Whatever. How about you? We got something to say? You got something to say? Thanks for everything, that was super nice of you. Cool, whatever you two. Okay, so with that quest out of the way, we've now entered into this place? What is this place? Roser, hi, I'm Roser, I have a question for you. Do you like boats? Leave me the hell alone, lady. I don't know who you are, leave me alone. <laughs> I love boats. But you're like my sister. Why is everyone in Brical de Mar so obsessed with boats and ships and sailing and all that stuff? It's the same day after day, whereas Temtem battles are always subtly different. Different strategies, different types, wanna fight. I don't have time for that, really. I'm just on break. I should go back to mending a keel in, a, in five minutes. Who is your sister? That would be Chiara. She's taking care of our family business. We've been shipwrights for forever, I guess. The most boring life you can imagine. You sound incredibly privileged. Um, and so I hate you for that. Roser says, I want to travel, meet people, and tame Temtem. Yeah, we all want to do things, okay? But we're not all born in such a luxurious life. See ya, pal. Have a good day, she says. Okay, cool. So we are here in the town. <laughs> oh boy, hi, Max. What took you so long? <laughs> so now, I have to rush to Aerosola to catch up uh, to the airship to Proporton. Proporton. Um, otherwise, or Properton, sorry. Properton. Otherwise, I'll have to wait for the narwhal, and I hear it needs extensive repairs. Mm. Sophia, don't worry, Constantinos. I understand. Go then, my friend. I'll take care of the kids. I am a grown ass man, Sophia. I'm a grown ass man. Okay, yes, you are. You got some schmutz right here. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you so much, Sophia. I owe you one. Drinks are on me next time. You can come to the arbory. Uh, drinks are on me because I'm 30. I'm a 30 year old man. Mm -hmm. I can buy my own goddamn drinks. Haha, ha, I shall hold your I shall hold you to your word. But I see your youngest disciple has arrived. And I look around because I am not the youngest, I am a 30-year-old man. Oh. Right on time, January. Kids, let me introduce you to my good friend Sophia. She's the dojo master of Erisola. Hey kids, how are you? I'll be giving you a little tour of Prakal de Mar before I drop you off at the academia. Cool. Thank you, Sophia. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Kids, this is where we part. I have to catch the airship, so I will leave you in the capable hands of Zavia. All right, get out of here, Constantinos. You'll miss your flight. Peace out, Prof. Very well, follow me, friends. Uh, we just met. We just met. Friends will be debatable. 
This is our little shop here. Uh, it's called the Louis Louis Souvenirs. It stocks all sort of knickknacks for tourists. It's a good place to start for your first uh, Temesins file fail. No apprentice should go without one, so save up and get it as soon as you can afford it. Temesins file fail. Temesins Temesins. Okay, okay. So this way now, <laughs> she's like looking at me as I'm trying to pronounce it. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are we going to next? Okay. Uh, Sophia, Indigo Lake, always so peaceful. Some days when the Solario River is too crowded, I come here to surf a bit and train my water. Tem Tem, good for you. And this building here is the Academia. It's managed by my associate teachers from my dojo. That's where I'm going. To the dojo. <laughs> One day, Max, when you're ready. When you're old enough, Max. When you're old enough. For now, all new apprentices come here to learn the basics. Once you've properly trained, you might join my dojo in Aerosola. No buts. I know. So give it a couple of years, Max. I would say maybe eight to ten years um, when you become an, uh, an adult. Uh, you can uh, challenge her. Until then, you should stick to uh, learning fractions. But... And this is the way that's a temporium. So this is our local temporium. There's one of these in every major town. It's where we tamers come to heal our temtem and buy temtem stuff. Okay, it's called a temporium. <laughs> uh, they have all that you ever need and more. So it's always a good idea to pay them a visit as soon as you arrive in town. Got it. Mm. That way is the Thessalian cliffs and the road up to Aerosola. It can be dangerous, so never go that way without an adult. You hear that, Max? Okay, I'm a 30-year-old man. I can do this journey. But you, as a young child that I had bullied growing up, um, you just, you can't do it, Max. You cannot do it. That's also true. You know, Max is uh, 25. He just doesn't look it, but he is 25 years old. And I just bully him continuously. But yeah, he is a 25-year-old man as well. And the dogs aren't that way. I like how she just ignores them. I could spend hours just sitting there, feet in the water, watching the pan sun turn the Solario River into a gold fire and pastel pinks. Pastel pinks. Pastel pinks. Shut up, Sophia. <laughs> and that's it. This is our little Bricol de Mar. I hope you'll make a lot of friends here and enjoy your stay. <laughs> your lesson is about to start, kids. And I have to get back to my dojo. First off, stop fucking calling me that. <laughs> Your lesson's about to start, kids. Okay, don't call me kid. I'm a grown ass man! What you doing? I know you're going. I don't want to hear it anymore about grown ass man. Uh, that's what I am. If you're ever in Aerosola, drop in, drop by and say hi, okay? Have a great day. Peace out. Oh my goodness. I, I know, Max. You heard her, January. I know. She's a wild one, isn't she? I didn't like that she was undercutting us and, uh, calling us children, when clearly you are 25 and I am a 30-year-old man. What? I bet I can blaze through academia faster than you. Like she said, come visit me at the dojo one day, loser. Okay, Max, enough with the hostility. She's not here. You don't have to overcompensate. Yikes. Max is... Max is gonna max. Alrighty, when we have reached the end of episode two, these episodes back to back have been kind of chonky, and I am thankful that you're still watching. Thanks for that. I'm still trying to figure out the pacing in which to make these episodes because, you know, these kind of games incorporate uh, a little bit of grinding and a there's a lot of stoppages in terms of fighting tamers and, you know, getting random encounters with, uh, with Temtem. So, and I'm still trying to figure it out. That's a me thing. I will do my best to get on it. But if you have any uh, suggestions as well of things that you'd like to see more of or less of, do let me know. And if you've been enjoying these episodes and Temtem in general, uh, be sure to share and show your support. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.